the answer to the question of what protocol to follow would really be determined by which phase they're in. If they're in a very acute phase of active infection, I do believe that those higher pressures are probably more important. Although we're not just trying to blow up spirochetes from pressure itself, we are also trying to improve a patient's immune response to fight the infection. So a range of pressures anywhere from 1.5 or 1.75 through two atmospheres and above could all be appropriate within that active phase, in my opinion. Many of the patients that we end up seeing are pretty well into the chronic phase of Lyme. And I believe that in the chronic phase of Lyme, we could pretty well abandon most of the high pressure and focus much more so on the inflammatory phase of recovery and then the tissue repair and regeneration. And a lot of that could be done anywhere between 1.3 and 1.75, even up to 2.0, but it's not as necessary. So the range of pressures could all be used, but it's really about understanding where the patient is in that journey and applying the appropriate type of therapy, the appropriate protocol based on where they fall in that continuum.